This video is going to be my first attempt at using this new and interesting material, and it may go horribly wrong, but if it does, it's going to be a learning experience for both of us. So the idea of this stuff is, it's an alternative to the LED neon that comes with the LEDs built in, and instead, you get a roll of the LED tape itself, and this stuff is shaped such that you can angle it, you can kink it, if you will, around corners, which uh, is something I've never tried before. Once you've laid the LED strip in, you then cut the front diffuser to size, and then it will theoretically, and this is, again, this is my first prototype of this, I've just made this 3D printed housing, then you can actually squeeze this in, and uh, it then gets illuminated from behind by the LEDs. So let's begin. I've already terminated onto the LED, so I'm going to stuff the wire through. Actually, I could stuff the LED tape through. Let's do that. It might be easier than fumbling with wires. So I'm going to pull this through. And I'm going to peel off the adhesive tape. I have doubts of whether this is going to go to plan. But having said that, I've seen videos of them doing it in the factory. And uh, they make it look so easy. But then they would, wouldn't they? Because they've been doing it for a while. So I'm peeling this uh, tape off. I won't peel it all the way. I noticed that the, the backing, the adhesive tape, is a. Uh, I thought it was going to be shaped to match, and it was just going to be the liner that was a. Uh, that sort of like continuous strip, but it's not. So now I'm going to zoom down this so you can actually see what's happening here. While I make an idiot of myself by just completely messing this up. Uh, right. So this isn't looking nice so far. I get the feeling that after you'd been doing this for a while, it would be so much easier. So this might just be an ugly mess. That's okay. I reserve the right to make huge ugly messes. Actually, you know, it's pleating round as it goes round, which isn't too bad. I've also hopefully cut this at the right length. Time will tell once it's in. Again, you see them putting it in the factory. I don't know if they've sped the footage up or they're just so used to doing it that they're just basically just shoving it in. And the idea of this is that you, it's not necessarily for 3D printed frames as I've done, but it's uh, designed to work with uh, routed channels that you basically can route into, well, I guess wood or plastic. They kind of show it routed into plastic. And they make quite complex signs using it. They route it out, they drill holes for the wires Ooh, get some more backing off here. And then uh, they just put the strip in. But it's also worth mentioning that they have special tools for the strip uh, for cutting it, giving it rounded ends, or where they go around a tight angle, they can actually cut a V out of the strip with, basically speaking, it's uh, almost like a bradle with a blade in the end. I'm not sure if there's a name for that. It's a plastic handle with a blade on the tip. The strip has these little uh, solder points. At, well, it's got solder points all the way along it, every three LEDs, but it's also got the bridge between sections of the LED tape where they've manufactured it. And here's the interesting bit, because uh, as shown in their promotional videos for this, and this is not a promotion, it's, uh, it's I bought this, so I just wanted to try it out. When you get to the end, and I have sized this correctly, if the LED is not quite meeting up, they just overlapped it. So I'm going to get my cutters here and overlap it. I'm not keen in the idea of overlapping LED tape. It strikes me that it's going to cause thermal issues, but who knows? It is overlapped and just stuck on top of the other LEDs. That isn't too bad. I say it's not too bad. Let's power it up and see if it works. That'd be a good idea. Hold on one moment. I'll try and stay in shot. Tell you what, right now I'm going to actually zoom out just in case I've not been staying in shot because you know what I'm like. Sometimes I get so engrossed in what I'm doing that uh, I screw up. So is this going to be... That's looking pretty good. That's looking pretty good. Righty-ho. Now I shall disconnect that again. And I shall start fitting this strip in. I suppose really it doesn't... You don't have to start it where the LED started. It could be started anywhere. So I'm going to start it in the middle of a section here, and I'm not sure 
if I've made this channel too wide for clipping this in, maybe it should be tighter, I'm not really sure. It, so far it's working and it's looking okay. And I have to say, it's going in a lot faster than I was expecting. The fact that you can just cut the strip to the exact size means that it doesn't have that thing that I had to scale these uh, to actually fit the cut point of standard LED tape. So I'm going to butt this up to here and I'm going to make a little mark in it with a Sharpie. A Sharpie is probably not terribly high resolution for this, but uh, it is what I've used. And then I'm going to take that to the edge of the bench. Where have I put the lid of the Sharpie? I've just lost the lid of the Sharpie. That's not good. Oh, there it is. I shall put that on before I end up with a dry Sharpie. And I'm going to get a sharp knife. I'm going to take this up to the edge of the bench and just cut it in a straight line like that. Is this going to butt up all right? Can I, how many times can I say the word butt in a video? That's not bad. That is not bad at all. Right, let's light it and see what it looks like. I'll just put this stuff out of the way. Is this going to be a perfect first attempt? That would be very rare. I also have to consider that the LED tape doesn't always stick that well to um, the 3D printed materials. These clips are not closing tightly on tiny little wires. And activate. Oh, look at that. That is so linear. Actually, do you know what will show how linear it is or not linear? Uh, it will be the uh, camera. If I take the exposure off. Ooh. That's not bad. Um, I'm trying to. It's not. It's kind of saturating out in the camera just a little bit. Um, can I nudge that? Hold on, I'll just uh, nudge it over there briefly. Because that may just... No, no, that's not going to work. Uh, I was just trying to find uh, where the focal point is. Uh, but that is it. Uh, it's looking pretty good. Um, it's a very... To my eye here, it, I can barely see the seam here. But it looks a very linear line of light all the way around. That has worked out really well. And I can't even see the overlap of the LED. It's down here, but if anything, I might see a very, very slight hint of a pattern under there, but that is it. Oh, that's very good. Uh, so I shall provide, it's not a promotional thing, but I shall provide a link to where I got this from, uh, just in case you want to play with it yourself. It's quite neat. I think this is the 8mm stuff. Uh, in that reality, it measures about 10mm across. I'd have to check that up. And the uh, bit underneath, right, tell you what, watch your eyes, the light is coming back. The light is back. Um, I measured it. Well, let, let me get the calipers. I measured it as about 10 millimetres across this material. Oh, so I wonder what the measurement is. Um, and it's available in a fairly thin to fairly thick version. But the I measured by pinching. There's a little groove here that's designed to just grip into whatever you put into. I don't know if it's designed to glue into it. Uh, but I just got the calipers and squeezed it gently in the calipers, which is a terrible thing to do in calipers, and then chose a 9mm gap uh, in the actual, an outline in the uh, 3D printed object. But I would say that's a success. I would say that actually worked a lot better than I was expecting. It's, uh, it's produced, oh, you know what would be even better? See if I turn the voltage up to the full actual rating of the strip, which is 12 volts. It's drawing 250 milliamps. And that is really quite linear and bright. It's producing a good effect. But that's it. Uh, that worked really well. That is the separate LED tape and uh, the extrusion material for making your sort of fake neon type signage.